Dino Krishnan from TV Patrol. First of all, welcome to the show business. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I know that this question has been asked a lot. I, I feel that asked that a lot. Um, since you're entering the show business already, who do you want to collaborate with? Sino bang artista gusto mo makatrabaho? Okay, so there's probably two at the top of my head. First one would be Yolo Pascual, and the next one would be Catherine Bernardo. I mean, you know, I think everyone idolizes them, right? So, yeah, they seem like amazing artists, amazing people. From what I heard, I haven't met them yet personally, but I've heard they're amazing people. So if I'm fortunate enough to get any sort of project with them, or even just to meet them, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, I know parang maraming kasabi kapag pangasipi Yolo Pascual, and you can really see that. How do you feel that uh, you really look like uh, it's very flattering. Uh, I still remember college days was probably the first time people would say that. And you know, people would say jokes like, I'm the discount papa fee ng Cebu. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's flattering and I'm happy. And if it makes people happy, then I'm all for it. Not yet in person. Okay, um, one last question. Um, any genre you would work on? When you enter the show business? So right now, I'm not quite sure yet. I do understand that when it comes to acting specifically, that you know, there's a lot of time involved, workshops, classes, and stuff. And right now, I guess because of my current responsibilities in Cebu, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go there yet. But you know, I trust the management at Cornerstone, my team. So you know, what maybe in the future, I'm not closing any doors. So I guess we'll see what life has in store. Sorry, I have to follow up with your answer a while ago. You said Catherine Bernardo, right? Yes. Um, you know, there's like a mixed emotion, uh, mixed reaction about Catherine Bernardo being single now and finally doing her own thing with show business. Do um, you think uh, you're ready to, you know, at least uh, make a Catherine Bernardo a I mean, right now, I'll just be happy just to meet her. Like, you know, these people are people you used to see on TV. So I never would have imagined that I would ever get to see these amazing people in person. So, you know, I'm just happy to make friends for now and just get to know everyone in the industry. That would be awesome. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Hello. We know you dread the question, especially for you. Can you share with us the story behind how you got into the segment and also how has your life changed? Uh, what happened was a few days before the show, I got a call from their production team. Uh, they said they were looking for someone from Cebu. They asked me if I was free that coming Saturday. I thought about it for a little bit. I've never been on TV before. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. They said it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes. So they flew me out. I went on the show and I guess, you know, now we're here. <laughs> and the way it's changed my life is you know, now, finally, I have a platform. I always wanted to share my advocacies with everyone, and I never really knew how to go about it, which is why, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be partnered with Cornerstone now to help me guide me through that. My last question, have you always known that you wanted to be a lawyer? What do you, what do you think would have been your alternative career? Well, when I was younger, I would always see lawyers on TV, you know, with the cool black suits, with the cool black cars. It's like, yeah, I want to be that. But, you know, you don't really know what it takes to be a lawyer. And I guess if I wasn't a lawyer, I probably would have pursued something in professional sports, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oliver, I'm JP from Philly, Manila. First question, going back to your show time, yes, you know, how, how did you feel na after no, people became very curious about you when they started searching you on social media and I'm sure you had an influx of followers right after that, yes, that. Well, it was pretty flattering. First off, it was definitely unexpected. I did not expect any of that to happen. So actually right after the show, my friend passed me my phone and it wouldn't stop vibrating, so it was pretty overwhelming. Uh, but how I feel about it is, you know, I was surprised that people were happy, and again, especially my loved ones, my support. The fact that they're happy just makes me happy, so. Did you think also that it was already a sign that you can show this because from way back, right? You didn't know and then you didn't know So it's a perfect timing because of that. Showtime, branding, yes, 
Yeah, actually, you know, sometimes, I guess in life, sometimes you just feel like the stars align. When I initially got the call a few days before the show, I actually checked my calendar and I saw that Saturday was free, but I actually had an important basketball game in Cebu. And I actually feel like if I noticed my calendar and I noticed that there was a game there, I probably would have said no. So because I forgot to put the game in my schedule, I said yes, and we're here. What was it like also meeting Vice Ganda, Kim Chu, Bong Navarro, all the stars in Showtime? It's hard to put into words, no? Like these are people that, again, you see on TV, and you never really think you'd ever meet in person, you never really think you'd be able to shake their hand. So, you know, admittedly, I was a bit nervous on the show, like, you know, making eye contact with them when they'd ask me questions and stuff, but again, super happy, super fortunate. They're amazing people. I was introduced to them backstage, so they're all amazing. Do you welcoming sayo among the, you know, the stars of Showtime? Probably all of them. So they all invited me to lunch with them after they were super nice they introduced themselves all to me so you know again it was like a crazy probably one of the craziest moments of my life thank you so much thank you hi Oliver. hello hi. uh you seem so well-mannered and soft-spoken how does that work for you as a lawyer <laughs> well i guess you know it's more just Managing it in the courtroom, you know, you can be a bit more, how would I say it, aggressive probably isn't the right word, right? but you know, a bit more stern. So, you know, I was luckily uh, grew up in a multicultural household and you know, you learn a lot about cultures, how to present yourself and stuff. So I guess I was trained well by my parents, on, like how to speak. So there's another side <laughs> that's not here. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, when you're in court and you're representing a client, you know, all your fidelity goes to your client. So, you know, if you have to be a bit more aggressive with your words, then, you know, work will require to do that. But of course, always professional, always polite at the same time. Okay, tapos kanina binanggit mo din na you're happy to have a platform to promote your advocacy. But you also be doing uh, movies ba? TV? Uh, recording? What exactly you show this part to about that Cornerstone? So right now I understand that you know, Cornerstone is very multifaceted. Uh, I understand that they also handle a lot of actors and singers. Uh, right now I just really want to focus on stuff like content creation, influencing. I know that they have a huge influencer or content creator group, so I'd like to focus on that. But again, we never know. We never know what's going to happen in life, right? Like. Maybe acting is in my future. I honestly don't know yet, but I really trust the team at Cornerstone to guide me towards wherever I'm going in the industry. Have you figured out how to balance your hours between showbiz and being a lawyer? So I was thinking about that a lot the last three weeks, and which is why my conversations with Cornerstone were all about you know how I'm gonna balance everything. Which is why I really believe that if I'm gonna do this, I really need. So I spoke to Ericsson, I spoke to Jeff and everyone, and I realized that they're the perfect partner for me if I really want to be able to balance my responsibilities back in Cebu and try my hand in the industry. Now, in Cebu, do you plan to live here? Uh, well, when I, again, when I'm fortunate enough to get some projects here or you know anything to do here, maybe it's hosting, maybe it's content creation here, maybe it's an endorsement deal, if I'm fortunate enough for that, then I'm more than willing to fly in and out for that. So I'll keep it flexible for now, for sure. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. Oliver, I'm Natalie. Um, actually, I'm Cebuan also, right? Oh, so, my Hapo. Oh, my Hapo. Kasi gusto na i-drop ko daw yung Bisaya. Sorry. It's working. Ito na yata Bisaya dito. Yes! But anyway, um, Oliver, kasi ano, you're the latest among si Buanos um, to join showbiz. Um, we have Beauty Gonzalez, um, we have Mateo, we have Chelly, Kim Chu. Are you friends with any of them? And may nasabi ba silang advice? Uh, well, I was introduced to all the hosts at Showtime, so I was introduced to Kim Chiu among one of them. So I would consider her including all the other hosts as a friend. 
Uh, I've never been formally introduced to Mateo, but I actually saw him the other weekend at Ironman Cebu. So I know, you know, he has a very similar advocacy of loving sport and fitness. So right now, not yet. Uh, maybe in the future, I get to meet other people from Cebu or other people in the industry in general. So I'd love to get some advice, be able to pick their brains a little bit on like how to work around the industry. So, you know, uh, after I was able to consult with my friends, my family, you know, we realized that now there might be a platform. Again, this was all unexpected. People started following me on Instagram and reaching out. There were a lot of opportunities coming in. And honestly, I didn't know if I had the time personally to manage all of those opportunities, a lot of emails coming in, text messages and calls. So uh, when I was weighing all my options, uh, there were some offers on the table. So I was able to speak with Ericsson and their team multiple times. So just why I decided, you know, if I'm gonna try this challenge, which is the showbiz industry, I feel like Cornerstone was the best partner for me. Or before, by di ka pa ba na, um, before, di ka ba na recruit or like, um, Wala lang. Outside of 12 years ago, when Ericsson did reach out, I wasn't recruited in the past for show business at all. So, since your family is here, may I know what's your reaction to all of this? Yung interest sa sayo? with the people, the sudden um, <laughs> Yeah, so actually my family was probably just as surprised as I was at the time. Uh, but of course, they're always super supportive as they all, they've always been, no matter what I decided to pursue in my life. So, which is why they're here. They flew in all the way from Cebu. So thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, Yasmin, for coming all the way here. So, well, yeah, uh, just, over, just as overwhelmed as I was, but just as happy as I am now. Advice Their advice to me was just to be myself and do whatever makes me happy. So, you know, which is why I'm doing this now because with their, their support, I know they have my back. So, no matter what happens, you know. Oliver, Nado, phone in question here. Uh, are you single now and looking? Single and searching. I am single now, but not actively searching. If I'm fortunate enough that, you know, the perfect person comes into my life, why not? But, you know, right now, I'm focusing on myself, on my responsibilities, but again, we're not closing any doors. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you. Good luck.